right, spoiler hint, if you see this part of the video, you'll know that this works. Um, but I need to track down a vacuum leak on my 89 Cherokee. If you watched my previous video, it's pretty bad. Um, I have tried using carb cleaner to find it, and I have not been able to. The idle is kind of all over the place a little bit because of the vacuum leak. And so I haven't been able to tell if where I spray has any effect. So I'm going to try to smoke it. And there's a few different options for sm uh, getting a smoker. You can buy an automotive smoker, which costs you anywhere from... $800 up to four or $5,000. I've seen where they use the fog machines, and those cost about 35 bucks. And I've seen some fog machines that you can buy off like eBay that are homemade looking for about $100. Um, I didn't want to wait for anything to be shipped to me. Um, and so I decided to make my own. A lot of them use mineral oil you burn mineral oil to create the smoke and I don't know why that just didn't seem very comfortable to me um, burning the oil um, and so uh, I decided to try something else and in this case I'm going to be using incense to burn um, and I did see somebody online do this that's where I got the idea unfortunately I wish I could claim it as my own but it's not uh, but he didn't actually demonstrate it being used. He just showed that there was smoke coming out of the can. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try to actually use it and see the results I got. I actually bought two of these. Well, let me go over how much this is, is costing me to do. Um, I mentioned the price of some of the other options. Um, this foam ball was a dollar at Walmart. These were a dollar at Walmart. This was 16 cents a foot and I got four feet so it's 64 cents at um, Lowe's and the can was five dollars so in all less than eight dollars worth of stuff but hopefully you know so that's one, less than one tenth of a lot of the options um, out there if it works it works which again if you see if you do see this video you'll know that it works um, and then I'll hook it up to to smoke my Cherokee uh, what I think we're going to do is I'm going to cover this foam ball in uh, foil, aluminum foil. Reason being is um, if you've seen this stuff burn, it burns really quick and really easily. So, um, you know, since there's going to be flame in there with these, well, not flame, but, you know, an ash um, or ember with these, I don't want this to catch on fire. So I'm going to cover it in foil. I'm going to stick these into it and then put them inside the can. And then um, on the can, I'm going to poke one hole in the lid and one hole in the side. The one going into the side will be the fresh air in, and the hole in the, the top will be where the smoke comes out. Um, a lot of people hook these up with pressure regulators. I'm either going to blow into it or use my bike pump um, to pump uh, fresh air into it. I didn't want to use a, a powered pump. Um, because everybody says you put too much pressure in there, you'll damage your system, which is the last thing I want to do. So I'll go with just using my mouth to blow into it um, at first. I have a feeling the leak's pretty substantial, so I'm really hoping that is what is able to help me find it. Um, but yeah, so I'll get uh, things put together here, and I will follow up once I get over to the Cherokee. Alright, so I have the incense in there. Now, one thing I didn't Thing to measure because I bought the incense before buying the can. Uh, the incense is longer than the can by quite a bit, so I've stuck it in there, and I'll just light them close to the top. Um, but check to make sure your incense isn't too long. Um, I did have to. I I punched the holes just barely too big. I used just a tapered punch and punched it, and it wasn't big enough. wasn't big enough. wasn't big enough, and it was too big. So I just used a little um, tape on there to make sure it had a good tight seal. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and try it. Oh, I'm going to have it come in here um, for the uh, vacuum, uh, or excuse me, the fuel pressure regulator. Um, I'm just going to have it go in there because I'm pretty sure that it's not leaking here. Um, I may have to block off the air filter. I'm hoping I discover it sooner than that because it's going to have to go through the whole system before it gets to here. Um, but we'll see because there's a lot of vacuum systems that come off of this so I can't just block it off here I mean I could but 
Um, I'll, I'll, if it just comes out through here without finding the other leak, um, I'll block it off here. Um, there's just a lot coming off of, there's all these hoses back here and, and this one here that I want to test as well. So I'll block off here if I still can't find it. I'll take this lid off and then maybe tape over the bottom of it. But So now we're going to start the experiment. Alright, so it's kind of working. Um, my biggest problem is is it's hard to keep the incense lit. So if I might make a recommendation, I'd buy better incense. But I don't know if it'll cat hook up on the camera. But there's just a wisp of spoke coming out. But, um, so I think my incense has gone out. But I noticed it's call coming out from the front of the airbox. So I'm going to have to detach it here and, and cover this up somehow. So I will uh, figure out how to do that and then get some more incense burning. But it, it does work. I would definitely get a better quality incense than the cheap $1 stuff at Walmart. Alright, well I think I've found where the leak is. I, I ended up just plugging this up with some rags. Um, but if I blow, you can actually see the smoke come out of the side of the throttle body. So, I'm not quite sure what part of the throttle body it's coming out of. It's coming out the seal on the bottom. It almost looks like it's coming out from behind these two, the idle air control and the uh, um, throttle position sensor. So, definitely looks like that's the source of my uh, vacuum leak. I'm sure if I were to have higher pressure on this, I'd be able to be able to determine that better. But since I probably have to take the throttle body off completely anyways um, to replace a gasket or whatever might be that problem, I don't think that will matter too much. But yeah, it's only coming from this side. Pretty sure it's not coming. This gets hot, by the way. I don't see any smoke over on this side. Well, and I might be out of smoke. That's one problem is the incense keeps burning out. I don't know if I'm giving it too much oxygen, not enough oxygen, or too much moisture. But uh, that's the one drawback I see of this problem is I have to keep opening the lid of the can and relighting the... Uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the incense. So, I think at this point, um, I'm pretty sure what my next step is going to be anyways. I gotta get the throttle body off um, and make sure that, uh, um, you know, the gasket, well, I'll take the throttle body off, replace the gasket, and make sure that uh, there's no other leaks on it. Um, but I'm, I, it's definitely, for $8, is it worth its weight and worth the money spent. Um, I'd probably spend another dollar or two and get better incense um, to, to, to use um, just because incense keeps burning out. So, anyways, if you have any questions about this or my next repair, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, this video was really meant to be about uh, a homemade smoke machine um, like that I made for $8 versus the thousands of dollars they charge you for. Um, blowing into it, I don't know if. Uh, that is part of the reason why my incense keeps burning out. I don't feel that it is uh, because it I won't even stay lit just being in the can um, with the lid off. Um, so, you know, but for $8, you definitely can use something like this to figure out your vacuum leaks. And I encourage you to use this. If you do have a vacuum leak and you don't have a lot of money, um, this took me, I went to two different stores. I bought the incense and the styrofoam at Walmart because obviously Lowe's wouldn't have it and I bought the hose and the can at Lowe's which was a mile from the Walmart. So thank you for watching and have a great day.